Matt Lauer's daughter Romy crashed car into Hampton's fence, left behind part of license plate. There was no DUI charge, but police did issue the 20-year-old a traffic ticket for leaving the scene, a source told People. Matt Lauer's daughter Romy was traced back to a Hampton's car accident after officials recovered part of her license plate from the scene of the crash. The July 5 accident was minor and occurred close to her home in New York, a source confirmed to People, noting that there was no DUI charge. The 20-year-old daughter of Lauer and ex-wife Annette Roque was, however, given a traffic ticket for leaving the scene, the source said, adding that there will be a settlement, not a trial. The Suffolk County Police Department did not immediately respond to People's request for comment. Matt Lauer and girlfriend Shaman Abbas hold hands during rare outing at Don Lemon's NYC. Wedding The crash occurred when Romy drove her car, a Jeep Wrangler, into a fence, according to Page Six. Police investigated the scene of the crash following a 911 call at approximately 4 a.m., in which a resident reported hearing a loud noise, the outlet reported. Upon arrival, officers discovered that a fence and sign had been knocked down. In late 2023, a source exclusively told people that Lauer who also shares two sons, Thijis, 17, and Jack, 23, with Roque is currently close with his kids. At the time, the source said that the former TV news star, who has been dating Shaman Abbas since 2019, is now living a fairly good life but it's nothing at all like what it was prior to his 2017 firing. It's a very quiet lifestyle, but he has nothing to complain about, the insider told People. He is dating, he's close with his kids. He still held on to the huge horse farm he shared with Annette on Long Island and they manage it together. They've navigated that fairly well. A year earlier, another source told People that the father of three was prioritizing his kids. Lauer has a good relationship with his children and sees them often, the insider exclusively told People in November 2022, noting that